So in this third part of um, the DAG, I'm going to show you the DAGity website that I was uh, describing in my previous video. So you just go to dagity.net and then you launch the Dagity. And so for example, let's start with a new model here. Um, give it a new name, say for example, osteoarthritis patient and then you have cardiovascular disease and then you have pain medication and then you have age say for example so these are the variables where um, our exposure variable is a so let us go to this how to add a variable rename a variable add a connection delete a variable delete a connection save a model set exposure set outcome um, adjust for variable make a variable so we want to set exposure so in order to set exposure you just need to move your mouse over and press e so move your mouse over and press e how to set an outcome variable move your mouse over and press o all right now go to add a connection so uh, to add a connection um, click or tap on the start variable and then on the end variable right so tap and then tap one more and then this age variable is a confounder variable say then tap one time tap one time all right um so let's assume that we we have some other variables as well uh, such as a sex variable and say this is a confounder as well so as you can see in the adjustment total effect uh, you have age and sex variable that are minimum sufficient adjustment sets for estimating the total effect of oa on cvd right um, so how do i adjust for them so how to adjust a variable and then see uh, mouse over and press a so i'm pressing a and pressing a that means what when i am adjusting these variables these variables are getting uh, bold say for example if i'm again pressing a see this sex variable is not bold that means that sex variable is not adjusted so when i adjust this um, then see there are no red paths anymore originally when i did not adjust for age and sex variable you can see there were some red uh, red paths um, and what are those red paths? The red paths are these bias, biasing paths and this green path is the causal path. So we definitely want to get rid of this red path and to do that we can simply adjust for the confounder as we have seen in our previous lectures. Alright, so in the lecture I have given some examples from the literature. So there is one very well-known uh, citation for the DAG um, and you also have the DAGity code. So here is the DAGity code. You can simply copy the DAGity code and then in here in the model code just select all, delete, paste the new code that I just copied and update. See this is the same DAG that I'm getting here. The only difference is that, uh, that there was no arrow between X and Y. So I can tap once, tap twice to um, get rid of that arrow. And in here, see this, um, you, you have a very special scenario here. And it is say that there is no adjustment set is necessary to get the total effect. Uh, but you do have some variable that is impacting your exposure and you do have some vari another variable that is impacting your outcome and there is a common variable which is a collider variable. Remember um, in the previous lecture I told that when you have a collider 
in the relationship you should not adjust for the collider so let's see what happens if i adjust for this collider i press a see just by adjusting this variable i am inducing um, the association between the out exposure and the outcome variable so i should not adjust for this but in case i adjust for it i i need to adjust for either this to get rid of any biasing path or i need to adjust for this to get rid of any biasing path but remember originally when we had our dag like this it already told us that no adjustment is necessary to estimate the total effect of um, low education on diabetes all right let us take a look at another example from this example uh, this is from the textbook and i am just opening the DAG code copying and then pasting my new code and then i am going to update the DAG. remember so this is the one that we were seeing and we, we can move around this um, as much as po i mean if you cannot see some of the names you can move around that's not a problem okay so in this case um, obviously when we have your exposure variable and outcome variable this is the confounder so if i adjust for this confounder only so this red path is gone but we still have other red paths that are still available so look at the total uh, adjustment um, set where it is saying the minimum sufficient adjustment set uh, there are three different adjustment sets one is prenatal care and socioeconomic status so i already adjusted for prenatal care so this is bold and if i adjust for for socioeconomic status see all of the red paths are gone now the second one is difficulty conceiving and prenatal care so i keep the prenatal care but now i am adjusting for this additionally see all of the red paths are gone and in the third case i am adjusting for maternal genetics and prenatal care because this is the adjustment set that is suggested i adjust for this see all of the red paths are gone so what are the red paths red paths are the biasing paths and once you adjust for uh, one of the suggested um, minimum sufficient adjustment sets in that, that are described here you get rid of all of these red lines so our last example is um, from this textbook um, where you can get the codes you can download the codes from here and um, you can paste the new code update the code and see this is the this is the new DAG from from that book so this looks a bit different but this is the dag uh, that they have given uh, something like this i guess sorry something like this okay so in this case see what are the minimum sufficient adjustments that there are you have to adjust for family history but this is getting rid of this red line but there are still other red lines so you still need to get rid of this uh, medical care so all of the red lines are gone what were the other medical access care and SES medical access care and SES you have to adjust for these two to get rid of these uh, all of these red paths so that means that it does not matter which two you adjust there are different sets of confounder setting if you adjust for those sets you might be able to get rid of all of the confounders you do not need to adjust for all but what happens if you adjust for all see this is still okay uh, this is not causing any problem because you are not getting any red paths in here so these are relatively simplistic example you can also take a look at other graphs see this is biasing um, and this one uh, the share and flat is one of the most popular um, examples that are cited everywhere because uh, it shows how complex your deck can be and 
as you can see even if your DAG is very complex uh, this DAGET website can give you some suggestion of what are the things that you need to adjust so for example even if it is very hard to understand which one is confounder which one is um, collider and uh, mediator variable you can adjust for this coach and fitness level fitness level is one coach is another see all of the red paths are gone versus when you did not adjust adjust for them there were a lot of um, red paths uh, so this uh, website is a really nice website that can help to identify the confounding and uh, not necessarily a particular confounder um, there are other examples as well that you can try um, and you can um, i think export this as png and uh, you will get the dag and you can save those dags um, if you want and obviously it is a, always a very good idea to save the code that you have uh, you get here so that later on you can simply update the code and get the exactly same uh, DAG